All right, coming up on this Locked On Ole Miss podcast extra video, we talk about the addition of Mo Crom to the coaching staff that should just about fill it out, and we'll talk a little bit of that, that, what it means, everything that goes into it. But this is the Locked On Ole Miss podcast extra video. You are Locked On Ole Miss, your daily podcast on the Ole Miss Rebels, part of the Locked On Podcast Network. Your team, every day. All right, welcome to the Locked On Ole Miss podcast. This is an extra video. We talk about the addition of Maurice Crum to the Ole Miss coaching staff as co-defensive coordinator and linebackers coach. Honestly, I've been telling you all along exactly how this is being set up Um in the coaching staff and to see it it actually come to fruition is pretty great now jeff levy the backup for him was already always charlie weiss jr it doesn't matter if he was here he was going to be here regardless that hire i think was set in stone from the beginning john david baker on the offensive side is going to get some ojt that's what that's for he's if charlie weiss um rides off in the sunset john david David Baker is going to get the first choice of that. Same thing with the defensive coordinator. DJ Durkin was the original guy. The guy that got OJT was Chris Partridge. This is now his team to go. And Mo Crom has been hired to refill as that co-DC linebackers coach as well. Um, Mo Crom comes from Western Kentucky. Their defense was actually pretty good, and they dealt with a ton of play volume. We talked about this on the show, and we talk about it pretty consistently. The 326 that we run is is designed to deal with um, play volume. It's really good dealing with play volume. And he's a guy that was defensive coordinator and he coached outside linebackers at Western Kentucky. No, at Ole Miss, there's only two positions to coach that you're not going to be overwhelmed the linebacker position. But Troy Brown is going to have a guy that he can immediately rely on. The young guys like Austin Keys, um, maybe a Shante Seastrunk. Maybe a Jaron Willis can pick his brain a little bit from what's going on. He's 35 years old. He's dealt with a ton of play volume. Um, We're going to hear from our sponsors real quick, and then um, we'll get back to it. This is the time of year that I've pretty much given up on all my New Year's resolutions, but not this year. This year, I'm sticking to my resolution to eat right, thanks to Built Bar. It almost feels like it's not really a resolution because I actually enjoy eating them. Have you tried Puffs? If you haven't, you're missing out on one of Built Bar's best tasting treats. Protein Puffs are the first ever protein infused marshmallow. They're fluffy, they're marshmallowy, they're not just a protein bar, they're a treat and they're covered in 100% real chocolate. All Built Bars are covered in 100% real chocolate. Yes, Puffs included 100% real chocolate. So they're high calorie, high pro, I mean, um, low calorie, high protein. Replace your candy bars with these, they're better. A typical candy bar can be anywhere from two to 300 calories. Go to Built.com, scroll down to the macros chart, and you'll be blown away. So mint brownie, coconut, coconut almond, and for this month, white chocolate cookies and cream. They're all delicious. They're all new flavors, and they're coming out all of the time. If they think a flavor might be good, they'll make it, and it'll be delicious, and it'll be good for you. At Built Bar, they're all about the taste. They make the taste delicious first, and then figure out how to make it healthy. And I don't know how, how they do it, but they pull it off every single time. Go to Built.com, use promo code LOCKED15 and get 15% off your order. Use promo code LOCKED15 for Built.com for 15% off your order. Also, football might be over for this season, but basketball is in full steam for both pro and college hoops. From the latest odds, totals, player performance props to where the next fired coach is going to land, BetOnline.net is the number one spot for all of your sports betting needs. BetOnline remains the best spot for all your sports scores, podcasts, and news this season. And it's not just basketball. BetOnline.net is your source for hockey, boxing, UFC odds right now, and Olympic coverage to boot. Um, Head to the website today or use your mobile device to learn more about trends in action. BetOnline, where the game starts. Also, thank you for making the Lockdown Ole Miss your first listen every day. Um, We are free and available on all platforms where you get your podcast also check us out on youtube do us a favor hit the subscribe button hit the bell and of course upvote the video so we talked about this we're excited about mo Crum because he is a guy that is, is experienced dealing with play volume 
that Bailey Zappi um, offense last year was crazy high speed. Big plays all over the field. And because of that, the defense was stretched. There was times at the beginning of the year where the defense struggled a little bit while they were adjusting to the play volume. Just is what it is. But they were able to do that. And by the end, I think they won eight games in a row or something like that towards the end of the year. The defense was pretty salty. And they made um, some pretty good plays. So, somebody asked me going into the season if I was concerned about all the staff turnover. And my answer was, I don't care if every single position coach gets rotated out. Because I trust Lane to make hires. Every time Lane needs to make a hire, he hits a home run. Now, how is he able to do that? Well, because he doesn't pitch Ole Miss as a destination. He pitches Ole Miss as a way to get to your destination. Lots of people don't want to hear that. That upsets people. It, you get better coaches doing that than you do the other way. There's not so many people that are looking at Ole Miss as a destination job. Ole Miss is a great job. I'm not saying it's not a great job. But if you pitch it this way, 100% of the coaches are available. If you pitch it the other way, that automatically eliminates 75% of the candidate pool. That's the reason Lane Kiffin is pitching this. Come to Ole Miss for a year or two, go off to another job, make a ton of money, win a bunch of games at Ole Miss, increase your reputation as a coach, and go off and do this. This is the one thing that he really learned from Saban. He absolutely learned this from Saban. And because of that, the co's being set up, learn that from Saban. Most of what he does is Pete Carroll as far as how he conducts a program, but this is 100% Nick Saban. And that's absolutely fine, but I'm ecstatic by this coach. This is a fantastic hire. It's exactly what you want. And we've discussed on the shows the last couple of weeks while we've been doing our post-signing day perspectives as each position group, the need to find somebody in this role that has experience dealing with play volume. He might do a different, a little bit different type thing and a little bit different flavor that they can add to the 3-2-6. We talked about the versatility of this defense over and over again. This play volume and everything, it, it has the ability to stand up to it. They're only bringing in people to protect the system. He has a system that he wants to run. He wants to protect that at all costs. Coaches turning over, there's a lot of chances for things to go wrong. Understand that. If that many turns over and you go willy-nilly and let them do whatever, that that's not good. That's the reason people were freaking out in December. But this is a new wave thinking coach. And because of that, the systems that are run are protected. The base system of how they play is protected. Now, there's going to be little things different where they feature what's going on and things like that. But the base systems are going to remain intact. They're going to recruit from them. They're going to find personnel for it. They're going to attack the transfer portal for it. The systems will be intact. The players will be there that can run that system. Now, the coaches might add wrinkles of what they know best. John David Baker is a whiz throwing the ball. I think he was an Abilene Christian through the ball and their offense through the, for 350, 400 yards a game. So his passing concepts are very high level, but he needs to learn how to put stuff together. He's watched Jeff Lebby over the last couple of years. Now he's going to watch Charlie Weiss Jr. before the reins get turned over to him. Chris Partridge just watched DJ Durkin through this transition to this 3-2-6. He's seen that over and over again. He's ready to try and get, get it to go. Now, this is important to know. The one bad hire, that I can think of Lane Kiffin making since he reemerged in college coaching was the second defensive coordinator hired after Chris Kiffin left Board Atlantic. That one was rushed. That was a mistake. I don't know if it was the personnel or what happened, but they ended up going five and six, and it was mostly because of the defense. He only lasted a year. So keep an eye on that. Keep an eye on what that looks like. Um, because it could be quite interesting. But anyway, this has been an extra video. Thank you for tuning in. We're going to post this up immediately. Tune in tomorrow for a little bit of an Arch Manning update. We're going to talk about the cornerbacks and the free safety, and we're also going to talk about the 
transfer portal top five signed so far. That came out today as well. So, yeah, good, fun stuff. So, anyway, tune in for that. Also, SEC After Dark, um, 9.30 Eastern tonight, 8.30 Central. Um, if you want to catch the live stream, you can. It'll be on our Twitter feed. So, take care.